Power 106, LA's number one for hip hop, Felly, with Dame Dash. Before we get into some Rockefeller history, yo, I, so the video's everywhere. Lee Daniels, we're just for, for, I don't know that much about him, so I'm just going to call him uh, producer, film producer. He produced um, Empire, uh, I think Precious. He, direct, he, direct, he directed Precious. He directed Precious. Yeah. So you, you let him borrow some money, he hasn't paid you back. Yeah, yeah, basically. You know, we had an agreement that if I gave him a certain amount of money, that he would give it back in a certain amount of time, and he just simply didn't do it. And, you know, over the years, he's, you know, sold me a lot of different dreams, the same one of me getting my money back, and, you know, we've gone to court about it, and, you know, I haven't really had the pleasure of having a face-to-face -face with him in about a decade, so I ran into him, and I made sure that he couldn't say that I was doing anything violent, but I just really simply wanted an explanation as to why he thinks he doesn't have to pay me back and what about our relationship justified that because we never had a fallout and you know even like how i put him in a different circle of people the tables that i put him in like just how he could even justify this in his mind you know and it just it was really hard for him to even fathom my perspective probably because he's never put up his own dollar in his life and he doesn't understand what that means and what i could do with you know a hundred thousand times twenty when my kids is on their way to college right now and I gotta pay private school up front. You know what I'm saying? And I gotta be independent and I gotta eat the food I kill every day. And knowing that I'm in the movie business that I was really, you know, I put money to the side just to be able to be independent and make my own movies. And before I invest invested in myself, pause, I invested in him. And even when he got it and his dreams came true, he just shut the door, locked them and was like, I'm not even gonna pay you your money back you gave me with no explanation. And just try to ride on my temperament, you know, and say that every time we Did smoke. Did he not know you very well or something? Nah, we know each other well. So how would he think he could do that and it would be, a, it would settle anything but okay with you? That was the question I asked. Because you said it was a pleasure. If you, if, you watched, if you watched the joint, I said, Joe, how you justified that? Like, I tried to make wrong, out everything bro. that you were saying. The harder thing was to hear what how he was responding. Like, what was his reason for not paying you? Well, in the subtitles, he has no reason. He says, I know I'm wrong. Let me make it up to you. He says, I'm going to pay you. Then he tries to offer me another, like, to be on another movie. And I'm like, yo, I don't want to hear that shit, man. I just want my money. Hmm. You know, it's, that's it, man. Like, I, the thing is, it's like when I give you something the same way, Paul, I gave it to you, it should you hmm. should give it back to me the same way. I shouldn't have to go to court for it. I shouldn't have to talk to a lawyer about it. I shouldn't have to work it off. You know, like, and we from the same place. So the disrespect hmm. of it, like, you know, it's like, it's almost like he was, wanting to provoke me into making a mistake based on emotion so that we could take the attention and the focus off of how much he's betrayed everything about our friendship, our business, and focus on my reaction, which is what everybody does. I know you're going to get your money back. I, I was going to say good luck with that, but I don't think I need to wish you good luck with it. <laughs> well, uh, either way, I'm. you know, uh, the bottom line is he's not the only one that owes me bread. Like, there's a lot of companies that owe me money that have it and just simply don't think they should give it back. You know, I invested like if six... people can let you borrow, if you can let people borrow it's not, it's money like, and they it's don't not have a... to give it back, I need to borrow some money. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, you know, it's like in the streets, you make examples out of people so they don't do it no more. But, you know, you can't approach things that way, or I can. Maybe this could be an example like, yo, stop playing with me. Like, I got a problem with Lionsgate and Grindstone right now over Honor Up with this dude, Barry. What's his last name? Barry, uh... I mean, if they so disrespectful to the culture that this shit just got to stop. Like, even when you put up your money, they try to make you feel like a slave. They make you feel funny about asking. It's crazy to, I mean, yo, <laughs> I got a lot of problems. I got a problem in every business I'm in. So music, I have a problem. In in film, you see this problem, and there's more coming. And then in, in fashion, I got a problem. It's just, this is what people do. This is what corporate business is. They just think that they don't have to pay you back. Why do you think that is? I guess there's not so much recourse. There's no death they or get high or, behind uh, there's, there's no, attorneys. And, well, you have to have money to go through a full suit, and there's a lot of technical. That's what Lee's riding on, like a technicality. But it's like, what about your morality? Mm. You know, like how do you make so a much handshake and your word? Well, how do you make so much money off the culture and then rob people that you know are good for it? Like he knows I'm a good dude. He knows what I did for him, and he knows like he shut me out instead of letting me in. And it's like, dog, are you like, is it because you look at me as competition? Like I'm a director now. I didn't, like, my, my investment was in, in, in him, in the culture, in publicly sticking together, showing people that we don't need them, we could do it on our own, but look what he do. 
And he was like, yo, I promise you, and I'm saying names because I want these people to ask him, like, did you say that? Like, when you get in the room with Oprah, I want Oprah to say, yo, did you really say that I didn't give you no money and that's the reason why he gave you the money? And why shouldn't you give him his money? And Denzel, you threw him under the bus. Like, he was throwing everybody under the bus. Like, Tyler Perry, no one will give me the money but you. So I'm that guy. I'm supposed to be the most dangerous, volatile dude, and I'm the one that gets played the most. I know why they didn't give him the money now. He wasn't going to give it back. And I'm quite sure... There's a lot of people that feel just like I do that he owes. But this is like concrete money. Like right now, without interest and all that, it's $2 million. This ain't like my evaluation of $2 million. Right. So now we got to go to court again because he's been playing. And it's like I had to drop a $5 million lawsuit on his head. But I just want everybody else to see like, yo, it ain't nothing for me to put some money on your head as far Please. as legally. So whoever's playing with me legally, trust me, I'm, we getting in front of a judge and it might be public. But all I want is what's mine. I'm not going to never get, get like this unless I'm dead right. Right. But, you know, everybody no, tries to make that. me look crazy. And y'all seen people rob me for years. I just got to keep wearing it. But when it comes to my money and all that, like, straight up, if I give it to you, don't disrespect me. Please just give it back. When you saw, how did, how did you end up in the same place as him? Because I don't even know where that was. I just know there was a lot of it, it was the Hollywood Bowl. And it just so happened that a friend of ours had tickets and invited Rocky. But Rocky didn't pick up the phone because we was at the pool. So she called later and was like, oh, this concert's going on now. And we got the tickets. It's two seats. And by the way, your man Lee Daniels is here. Ball game, I'll beat it and bring a camera just in case. We'll, we'll be watching, man. And again, I would say good luck, but I don't think you need it. Mm. I mean, I'm just sick of fighting people that I try to help. I'm sick of, I'm just sick of culturally us being the worst. And I, you know, that's why I got this book. I wrote about all my experiences. It's honest. I'm not being vague. I'm calling out names. I'm saying things based on my personal experience. He's in the book, and you could buy it. We did an ending. My man Kenyatta's right here. You know, and What's up, Kenyatta? And, 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 and and if you look at it the way we did it was very conscious. It was very it was a strategic thing is we gave away knowledge for free because we know how much is needed because I know how much I wish I had somebody to tell me who to watch out for mm -hmm. and how to do things the right way. So we ain't wasting time running on a treadmill and figuring out how to empower each other instead of going against each other. And I wish there was a man there to tell me how to be a man because a lot of men just be like, yo, I ain't talking to these young dudes. And then they wonder why the young dudes is bugging. Like everybody's so mad at hip hop in this motherfucking generation because none of the OGs is speaking. They gotta guide these cats. Mm. And that's why I look at the result. Look where we at with it. People back dying. And everybody like, yo, I hate hip hop right now. Yeah, because that's how we left it. Mm. We supposed to come and educate these people so they don't make the same mistakes, not mm. judge them. And that's the problem right now. We ain't teaching each other. We all trying to fucking run for the plug. Everybody trying to protect the plug. Why? If we do it together, we the plug. Mm. And I've been saying this shit for years, and everybody says I'm crazy, and every time I help somebody, they rob me. Every time I get somebody to their dream, they literally lock the doors and try to make me look crazy. You see, you see how it go? I, I don't get it. Why? You know, I know Jesus went through it, but God damn. Like, a good guy gets punished, period. That's the sacrificial lamb no matter what. If you're going to tell the truth, you better be ready to fight, period. But if you're soft, you're going to look the other way. And you got to live with yourself. I'm not judging you. I'm just not built that way. And my, 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 my existence and everything I've done I, while I've been on this planet as an adult reflects that. As I learn, I teach. And I never hide the plug. I give it away. I'm an OG. I give it away for free. Except for in the book. You got to buy it. <laughs>